Let's take a look at how a shop floor employee might use ProShop to work on a job. First thing they're going to do is log in with their username and password. You'll notice there are three tabs here in this browser. We will configure the computers at every com workstation or com CNC machine out on the floor uh, to have these three tabs that are related to that particular machine. Here we see the scheduled work for the machine that we're at. Here we can see the shift tie-in from the previous uh, shift uh, that was left. Could have been the night before, could have been the day before. Just depends on the work schedule. Um, so we can see, you know, we can put in text and see what job they were working on last. Uh, I can also go click directly on the job that is due up next. But if I was working on this job uh, the day before or early in the morning, then this work order would be at the top of my recent list. So here we are at a work order. I can see there's, this is for 25 pieces. I can see how much is done. There's 25 already done through operation 50 on the lathe, but there's only 19 parts done on the mill. So let's go work on operation 60. When I arrive at the operation here, I'm gonna open up my run description so I can see what the work instructions are for this. Let's go ahead and log in to this job as well. So I'm gonna choose running and ProShop already knows the work order, machine and operation that I'm on. So I'll just click log in. And then I'm also gonna click add part so I can bring up the in-process inspection sheet. So as we're running our parts and putting in the values, they can be filled in from an SBC caliper or mic or things like that, or you can just type them in as you see me doing here. And as I create every set of records and click save, ProShop will save those results if I want to look at the trend graph, I can click and see, in this case, this is starting to run out of closer to the tolerance, so I might want to make an adjustment there. After I'm done running for a while, I'm going to go ahead and log out. The only thing I need to do is update how many parts there now are. Click go. And you'll see now that the work order is automatically updated to show 20 pieces. So there's a little bit of an example of how we use ProShop out on the shop floor. Thank you.